Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight here for KION News at 530. I'm Veronica Macias. Solid and council members came to an impasse last night surrounding the reversal of an ordinance where the city switched to district-based elections with a rotating mayoral seat. They also couldn't agree to let voters decide in a special election in March. The ordinance, as it stands, rotates the mayor's seat among five council members. However, enough signatures were gathered on a petition where voters will now have an opportunity to take matters into their own hands. Kiao and Zania Romero explains. Therefore, we have an impasse. Soledad council members unable to agree on its response to a petition filed by voters demanding the repeal an ordinance on how district elections would work in the city. It's disheartening because people are saying, you know, well, okay, if I, if I come out and I speak up and I give my opinion, you know, like the council's going to listen and that is not what's happening. Talks were heated Wednesday night, but there was no majority decision made on whether to repeal the ordinance or put it on the ballot. The main concern for voters having the ability to choose an at-large mayor directly. Council member Maria Corralejo questioned the validity of the signatures on the petition, indicating she wanted to hear from the whole community and not just the petitioners. 10% is great. That's huge. I know that was a huge effort, um, but I, I really would like to hear from 100% of our registered voters. Council members Corralejo and Ben Jimenez voted Wednesday night to put the ordinance on the ballot for March, something that in recent months Mayor Anna Velasquez and Council member Fernando Cabrera initially wanted, but Corralejo and Jimenez voted no. The city running out of time as a decision needs to be made by Friday. I know that um, our our city staff is working on to trying to look at what what could be possible for tomorrow um, in order for us to meet those deadlines for that to still uh, be able to go into the March ballot. It seems like they keep on moving the finish line a little further and further just because they can. And that is straight up arrogance and that is undermining our voices. If the city votes to put it on the ballot tomorrow, it would not cost the city anything. But if they do not, they would miss the deadline to put it on the ballot in March and would cost the city $80,000 or more, according to the city attorney. Reporting in Soledad, Daniel Romero, KION News Channel 46. And the city is also holding a special meeting tomorrow at 3 p.m. to discuss districting in Soledad.